everybody, along with Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro is coming up. I'm Mike Emery. Good tonight. We get to see the top team in the league. Wonder what it's like to coach the best team. Well, why wouldn't you, Doc? You certainly want to be standing behind that bench, but there are some challenges because you know the opposition is going to bring their best. They know that we're playing really well. They don't want to get embarrassed. So I think the challenge is, is to continue to get the focus from your team, play the way that you have, but understand is that you're going to have to bring your work boots here tonight to have any chance in winning this game. The Ducks coaching staff has prepared them extremely well. Regardless of the situation, they never change. If they're up a goal, down a goal, they stay with their same game plan and adjust accordingly. That's why they're on top of the league standings. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. He remains number one despite sporting a loss last time out. Coaching staff has faith here. He can get better in this one after losing the last one. The centermen are in, and the puck will be dropped. Raquel's the face-off man for Anaheim. Eichel's his opposite number to the Sabres. Anaheim setting up an offense from the wing. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Looks to make a play from the corner. Just inside the line. Stands him up. Couldn't get through and retain possession. Anaheim sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Sabres will get their first power play crack of the game. Let's see how they do. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. The Sabres are only half of the group in this game that has played very well over the last 10 games. Both of these teams have played almost identically. The records are almost identical as they head into this matchup. Leads that charge into the zone. Laid on to Hansen. Pitching it to Zingle. Pass attempt to Middlestaff. Shoots one. Lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. Dalin's a wrecking ball on skates. He finishes everything at both ends of the ice. As a result, he is among the very top of the league in the number of hits delivered. Anaheim's had an aggressive mindset throughout these last 10 games. They forechecked extremely well. They've been aggressive and on the body. We'll see if they can impose their will on their opponent, who's played much the same way over their last 10. Pass to the slot. Terrific point blank save. That was a good challenge. Better stop. Long lead pass to Montour. The Sabres with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Looking to Richie. Hammers his way up the wing at neutral ice. The Sabres lug the puck in their own end. Off the woodwork to Reinhardt. Gets the pass through to start a play. Let's it go. A strong pad stop there. Hulk checked away. The Ducks skated up on the side. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Great save. Trying to go to Spurgeon. Wanted to go world class. Wound up in the gutter. Tripped up on the play and there will be a penalty. Subans at the bench, extra man over the boards. Takes it to the corner. Took that away in his own zone. Anaheim's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under. Number 92, Gabriel Landeskog. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, two minutes. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Got it back out of the zone. Loose puck did not go down. Skill play by Hansen. Now it's directed to Middlestaff. Can start the attack going in the zone. Slid to Darlene. Walks the blue line. 
Read that play in his own end. Two on one. Big time move. Passing one off now to Hansen. Directing that one to Zingle. Ah, uh, how is there? What a block. Very important steal for him. He finally got it out of there. Clock leading down on the power play. Chip the Hall up. There is a slash on that play, and it is going to be called. Anaheim's got a two-minute slashing penalty. Anaheim penalty to number 14, Adam Henry. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty. Four minutes. Buffaloes seconds. to the power play again. And they have rung in one already. Let's see if they get another. Good job on the draw. Good work in clearing it out. Buffalo's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. Forcing attention in deep. He's got that pass at the point. Got that pass in his own end. Moving it to Zingle. Skates it into the zone. Bodied off. Tries to get it over the line. A successful clear. Still time on this power play, but not much. Snapping a pass to Zingle. He just flat out missed it. Anaheim's in the neutral zone along the way. He's got it. Terrific poke check. Buffalo's in control of the puck in their own end. The Sabres power play got plenty of practice that time, but no finish. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Puck is thrown to Johansson. In with it now. Oh, broke it up. Pitching this one to Opozo. Brings a shot. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. The Ducks with a clean win on the draw. Puck loose. Strong defensive play by Opozo. Shot. That shot came from just six inches. Face-off upcoming, offside. As soon as the goaltender reads the release of the shot, he drops to the butterfly and makes a really easy stop. Under nine minutes play. Buffalo's got the lead, 1-0. The tie-up, he needed help, and he got it. Is able to move on in. Intercepted that one at an important place. That's a back turnover, Doc. When you're ahead, that puck has to be moved into a safe area of the ice 100% of the time. The Ducks are at the wing in neutral ice. Let's it go. Outstanding glove save. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Driving in from no man's land. Some contact there, and the puck is loose. The Ducks are driving it from the wing. Oh, and the puck goes out of the zone, and so they'll have to reset it center. Looking to get it out. Oh, that's a good keep. That's a great keep at the line. Anaheim's lugging it up the wing. And angled to Manson. Off a defender, that's a free puck. 
on to Hansen. There is an opening there for that pass. Good defensive read with that one. Gathered up again by Hansen. Looking to headman up the wing. That puck flopped out of play, bounced from one row to the next. But a very adroit fan from Chillicothe, Ohio, has a souvenir of the game. Pitching it to Landeskog. Crosses that line. Wonderful stop. All a part of generating an offense. A little pass off from the goal. Pass attempt to Hansen. Looking to Ellie. A shot. Shot it high. He's not going to get a better quality chance than that in front. Good intercept in his own end. Takes that pass. From the outside. Just couldn't find the target. Good solid defensive play with the stick. Anaheim's along the wing at center ice. Looks ahead to start something. And he steps across the line. Back and forth they go. Oh, what a hit. And, there isn't, and the end result of what's happened is this. The gloves are down. It's not about winning or losing the fight. It's about showing up. And he did in a big way. and got a fistful, five each for fighting. Both those guys making their way over to the penalty box. They're going to get a chance to cool down for at least five minutes each. More times than not, you drop your gloves like that, you're going to spend at least five minutes in the box. Sabres penalty to number 56, Aaron Howla, a five-minute major for fighting. Time of the penalties, 14 minutes. Trying to go to Raquel. Seconds. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Right into the slot. Point blank save. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. Gets it out. Now it's directed to Spurgeon. The Ducks have it along the side at mid ice. Not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. To Zingle. Shot it back out of his own end. Anaheim's going back further to get restarted on this man advantage. Gains that offensive line. Dogged determination there by Landis Gaw. He's got that point pass. Puck free, roadblock by Hansen. Stays along the boards. Sends it back the other way. Puck controlled now by the defense. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Passing one off now to Landeskog. Directing that one to Moran. The Ducks with possession in their own end. And he dumps it in. To Eichel. Moving it to Hansen. Snapping a pass to Reinhardt. Around the 20th minute of this period. Anaheim's in possession now as they move up the wing. It's dumped in. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Now, a little bit of a sloppy turnover, Doc, but that looks like a guy just trying to make too much happen. He wants to get his team back in the game. He holds that one, and it's a good thing because they were buzzing. Gibson's quick thinking allowed him to stop the play to slow down the pressure.
Puck drop and the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. The Ducks with possession of the wing. Carries it on in from center. Locks on that to Spurgeon. Through the corner. The Sabres setting things up in their own end. Puck is thrown to Middlestaff. Shoots one. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. The Sabres have the only goal. Be sure to get next year's season tickets now at this year's locations and prices. This offer is available now. Don't miss it. First face-off of period two. Steps in from the neutral zone. Puck free. Shoots. Gloved. A whistle and a rest. Good face-off win. Got that in the trapper. Puck covered. Whistle blown. The Sabres with a face-off win. A shot with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. that face off from the tie up the help came brings it in for an attack made that work for him in goal it is hard work here to get the puck free got iron with the shot pretty hard to shoot the puck much better than that where they really could have used the bounce they don't get one the puck rings off the pipe Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Anaheim's up the wing, settling things. Intercepted it in no man's land. Steps across that line. Using the point, he's got it. Took it up the boards and holds. Oh, what a glove he's got there. Just under three minutes have gone by in the second. The Sabres lead 1-0. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. Nice face-off win. Quickly off the stick. And a save! Anaheim's got it in their own end, hoping for center. Gives it to the point. Propelled to Manson. And a save. Buffalo's motoring on through center ice. That puck is loose on a good defensive play. In that defensive zone, an important play. Couldn't get through. It's loose. Tremendous job done defensively there with a poke check. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. And he dumps it in. Passes to the slot.
to Reinhardt. Intercepts that pass on the attack. Buffalo's lugging it along in their own end. To Darlene. Gets behind the net. Does he have anybody in front? He hangs on and gets the whistle. Pretty run-of-the-mill stop for the goaltender. He's got a clean look. It's a shot without much velocity. Rattled deep to Landeskog. Flings it. Got his glove on that one. Oh, he'll pay for that. A big, big hit. Landeskog's been so. As predicted, we have a fight here. All players have a role, Doc. Two things, accept and execute. And he certainly did that. The decision of the referee is final. It was worth five each for fighting. These games don't come along very often anymore where they're chippy, aggressive, over the line a lot of times with way too many penalties. Those guys have been eyeing themselves up all night long. They're going to get a chance to look at each other from the penalty box for five minutes. Continuing to probe up the wing. Save! Buffalo's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Puck picked up by Hansen. Nicely received at the point. The Sabres are moving the puck in the defensive zone. They worked hard and they got it back out. Good job of penalty killing here by Buffalo. Slides it to the point. Shoots. Oh, what a stop. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Into the end of attack. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. He throws it there. Save! That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. A little under nine minutes have been skated in the second. It's a one-nothing game. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. Laid on to Lindholm. Has it back deep. Slid. Wow, that's got to be a call. That's got to be a penalty, and that's got to be an answer from the other team. we get a penalty. The referee to the table, a player to the box. He's calling both, Doc. He's got them both going to the box. The teams will go four on four. Do you take risks well, offensively four, or do you just play defense and limit mistakes? I hope they take chances myself. Man, I love four on four. One guy makes a little stumble or a half a mistake and all of a sudden you've got scoring chances all over the place. Clean win on the draw. Buffalo's in possession and neutralized. Chip to Hansen. Right along the blue line. 
the Ducks are lugging it back through the defensive end. Pitching it to Raquel. Blocked away. On through the corner. Walking a thin line near the border there. That puck's loose, defended away by Fowler. Tried, but it didn't work. Reads the play and keeps it. When you have a lead, you want to make sure plays. They've done that most of the night. This is not the time to try a hope play. The Sabres have it through the neutral zone. On to Gooley. Loose pocket went off one of the guys there. The Sabres win it. Right to the point. Quick wrist shot. Anaheim's in their own end and carrying it on. It's dumped in. Pass attempt to Opozo. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. That shot came from right in front. You gotta think that's a game-changing save there. Good try there. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Hanson's an aggressive player, but his aggressiveness sometimes crosses the line. Well, I guess not sometimes. He has among the highest total penalty minutes in the league. He's going to sit again. Face off and a solid tie-up and help arrive. Good job. Buffalo's in possession as they travel in the defensive zone. Has it in his own end. Looking to Richie. What's his next move from behind? Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Puck loose now picked up. Stick handles right up the center. Wrist the line is out of the penalty box after that fight earlier. We'll see if he's got his glove strapped on or if they're going to go again. Takes that pass at center, see if we can move something. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. His teammate comes in. Leads that charge into the zone. Has that one measured in his own end. Let's a shot fly. Save there. Usually when you see shoving and pushing after a whistle, it leads up to something bigger. And I mean a lot bigger. The face off, the tie up, and a solid job from the winger there. On the outside, a shot. Great save. The Ducks skated up on the side. Takes that pass up the boards. He caught it and he holds on. Nice face-off work. He chipped that one off the boards and ahead. Great defensive pull. Goes back deep for it. Trying to go to Richie. And angled to Kasha. Great poke check. And he holds on and stops playing. Whistle has stopped play. The Sabres win the draw. 
Let's it go. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. You're not going to hit that much harder than he did. Unfortunately, he just misses the net. Back to the point. Wonderful block. Got that pass off the boards. Receives it in the corner. That puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. Snaps one. Routine save, but a necessary one. Two periods are in the books here, and so one more to go, and maybe overtime, but it's been an entertaining first two. Through two periods, here are the shots on goal. Get ready. 27 for Anaheim and 24 for the Sabres. All right, fans, time for tonight's Lucky Road Giveaway. Each fan receives a move. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Anaheim's down after the first 40 minutes of play. Couple of positives. One, they're only down by a goal. Second, time of possession has been in their favor, but at some point, they have to convert some of those chances. Swept aside. Gathered up again by Gabriel Landeskog. Buffalo's in control of the puck up the wing. Points it. A shot. Skill play by Fowler. Now it's directed to Landeskog. Able to go uncontested behind the net. Takes it from the boards and looks on. Just a backhand. Oh, that was close. Passing one off now to Reinhardt. Wasn't intentional. Didn't go well. Loose puck. Directing that one to Reinhardt. Shoots. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. That great save was all positioning. Anaheim's got that face-off win. Stole that pass away in his own end. Right near the goal stripe in the corner to Kasha. Save with a glove. A little under three minutes off the clock. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. He just banned on. Terrific determination by Spurgeon. Wonderful stop. Buffalo's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Anaheim's controlling the play in their own end. Gains the zone. That pass along the boards. Rister! Score! A power play goal! And it's a biggie! the power play does nothing but crush your momentum they're able to tie the game up with a power play goal here and they won the neutral zone face off to Opozo. Decides he wants the corner. Muscle long to Hansen. Moving it to Kasha. Takes that pass. Here we go. Snapping a pass to Kasha. That didn't go like he wanted. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that. Puck is thrown to Richie. Round through the corner. Not a free puck now.
can start the attack going in the zone. Looking from the corner. And he hatchets one. And a save. The Ducks through the neutral zone glide along. Taken over again. Buffalo skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Gathered up again by Fowler. Can he generate something from there? And freezes play for the whistle. Over six minutes played here in the third. The winds have shifted yet again. This game is back in a tie. Anaheim's got a defensive zone win. Huge hit in open ice. This was part of their game plan. Be physical. The Lindholm. Loose puck blocked off by Hansen. Let's it go. Let's go. chances here at either end as this continued tie game strung out. Now they've got the lead. We'll see where it takes us now. The Ducks have gotten a one goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two or do they just try to protect this? Pitching this one to Middlestown. Nice stand up poke check there. And he dumps it in. Pitching it to Kasha. The Ducks have control of the puck in their own end. Skates it into the zone. Didn't handle it very well. Free puck. Laid on to Ritchie. Slot shot. That was a great play in goal. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Slid to Spurgeon. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. The boards are there to be used, and he does it with that pass. That's somebody that's been around. He took a quick look up the middle of the ice, nothing there, so he banks it off the boards to his partner, and out of the zone they go. The Ducks waiting back in their own end. Pass attempt to Richie. Puck picked up here. Terrific interception. Well, he just turned that puck over, guys, and that puck has to go forward 100% of the time when you're on the lead. Nicely into the zone. Got that pass in his own end. Chip to Hansen. Can he generate something? play on to Spurgeon and the players collide in open ice oh that's going to make them think twice about going to that area pop loose because of that hit it's just him that's off the passing lane in the defensive zone this game is going to wind down and be close right to the final horn each team has tried to enforce their style of play on the other. It's just not happening. Holds on and gets that whistle. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Both benches jumped to their feet, but when the fight was won, the momentum of the game completely changed. Thanks, Ray. We'll be watching with interest as he plays. The Sabres prevailing on the faceoff. To Moran. Taken away. Big point blank save there. The goaltender shuts that one down on a superb opportunity. Skates out with it. And play is stopped again. And I'm almost out of ink on this penalty sheet. 
Anaheim's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. The Sabres get another power play chance here. They've had some effectiveness on their power play and generated a lot around the net. Let's see if that continues. He got rid of it. Looking to Darlene. Trying to go to Reinhardt. Pass finds its way ahead to Eichel. Grab! Great chance ahead! Couldn't make it through. Can't retain possession. Thrown to the slot. Play is halted, and we have yet another penalty call. Hansen's got a minor penalty here for interference. Time of the penalty, 12 minutes, 47 seconds. Anaheim's power play has been good, not great. But let's see if this is the one that they strike on. It's important. He gains the zone. Cut that pass in his own end. Right there on the money, the left wing pass. To the point it comes. Slid back across from one point to the other. Now it's directed to Eichel. Makes that play deep. The Ducks are moving the puck in neutral ice. Conscience loses that puck while faking in the offensive zone. He tried to do way too much there, Doc. One word of advice. When you're pushing and shoving like that, you better be ready to drop the gloves. San Jose's next as the toughest schedule in professional sport just keeps moving forward. There's never a time to take a night off, Doc, and they'll need to come prepared for battle if they're going to come out with a win in this next one. Out in front. Designs might be something coming up here. He has been looking for this for a while. A huge win at that end of the ice. Passing one off now to Johansson. In with it now. And they've got it again. Directing that one to Eichel. That one is pointed to him. At least he protected his goaltender. Moving it to Henrique. Anaheim's looking to head man up the wing. Wedge further to Fowler. Picks it up back there. Snapping a pass to Reinhardt. Has that point pass as well. Took that away in his own zone. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. Great offensive zone win. Free puck thanks to the roadblock. Anaheim's looking to head man up the wing. And down to Landeskog. A long scorcher. Blocked. Shoot one. Score! He got the post with that one. I guess at this point, guys, it doesn't really matter what the game looks like. It's back to even square, and we'll find out who's going to take the lead next. Opposo's gotten this game tied up at its most dramatic moment. The waning moments of the third. Puck oh, drop, tie up, and help from the winger. The Sabres in their own end have control of the puck. Pitching this one to Darlene. Gains the zone. Scooped up by Opposo. Great save, point blank. Great opportunity, better stop. A minute to go. Will this be settled or need OT? What a performance, and it's not over yet. These guys will play on in overtime. Are you a super fan? The Sabres, on the strength of this play, have brought a tie into extra time. Overtime is after this.